Hi, my name is Tony Fakri and thank you for joining me on this brief video blog. Today I want to talk to you about the idea of overcoming your challenges and defeats or even setbacks but not allowing yourself to be defeated. Because once we get mired in our problems, then we only orientate our minds towards the problem itself rather than a solution. Uh, and to my way of thinking, if we have a problem, there must be a solution. But it was Albert Einstein that once said, uh, we can't solve a problem with the same level of thinking that created the problem in the first instance. And what he was referring to is that the same mind, the same way of thinking that we use to create a problem is not the same mind that will solve that problem. So it's as though we need to create a new paradigm, a, a new shift, a, a shift in awareness, a higher level of thinking in order to transcend our problems. So we must look at our problems with a new lens, through a new filter. Because if we consider that our problems are uh, applied through a level of thinking that may be outdated insofar as we may be conditioned, we may bring all our preconceived ideas or perceptions and beliefs into viewing our problems or challenges or even hardships through this filter. However, if we let go of this way of perceiving the world or our problems, then suddenly we open ourselves up to new solutions. And when we begin to see these new solutions, we look at our, our, our landscape through a new vista, through a new lens, a new filter, as it were. So the key is to remember that we all experience hardships, we all experience defeat, but we mustn't allow ourselves to get mired or stuck in those beliefs because uh, it can actually erode our character and our self-esteem. Everyone gets defeated. We all have our challenges. We all fall down. It's, it's not so much about how often we fall, but how often or how quickly we get back, we bounce back, get on our feet and challenge and attack our problem, find new ways because our mind is like a muscle, our self-esteem is like a muscle. The more we exercise it, the more we find ways to overcome our challenges, we build that muscle, we build that self-belief, we build and reaffirm that self-esteem. And as we do so, we strengthen our resolve and inner conviction and commitment to pursue our goals, our dreams, our highest ambitions. And suddenly we find ourselves in this amazing place that we never thought was possible because of just one simple step. And that is to daily attack our challenges, our obstacles, our defeats and beliefs. Instead of cowering in resignation and believing that our beliefs or our challenges rather are greater than us. So I hope this appeals to you and thank you once again for joining me on this video blog. Uh, my name is Tony Fakri. Thanks once again.